How's it? And welcome to a car swap day. We are going to be swapping two cars, four cars. We're driving four different cars today. Um, the A6, as wonderful as it has been, is um, going home. And we're going to swap that for an Amarok. Um, dark label edition, I think. Anyways, and then the Mitsubishi also gets swapped. I can't remember what for. <laughs> Something. So we'll see um, later when that happens. A um, couple of parting thoughts on this A6. It really is a comfortable car to drive. Um, as I said in the previous video, I think the air suspension on this would like, just like refine it that little bit more. You never feel rushed in this car. It's just such a comfortable car to kind of just move around in. Um, it gains speed quite rapidly. It hardly uses any fuel. It's a phenomenal car. It is just laden with tech. There's so many cool gadgets. Um, the haptic screen, all the inputs. It's just, it's such an incredibly, incredibly comfortable car to drive around in. It just, it does strike me how, despite diesels and all the bad rep that they get, it's just such ridiculously economical cars. Um, I think if I was buying a big vehicle like this, I would heavily, heavily lean towards the diesel option, just purely because you can get a thousand, two hundred kilometers out of a single tank of fuel. That's twice as much as you get out of like the 55 TFSI engines. Granted, they're faster and more performance, but again, like if you want a performance vehicle, buy the S6. I believe is still the two liter. Actually, let me take it. Let's have a look at what we got here. Amarok Dark Label two liter bi turbo, 695,000 Rand. It is a 132 kilowatt, 400 Newton meter packy. It, it's nice. It's I love these Amaroks. I just, I always have liked the Emirates since the very first one I drove. I think it was a 103 kilowatt version. I've just always enjoyed the Emirates. I think they're they're typically BW. I think I think they could do with a bit of a facelift, like the digital dash would be nice and a few other bits and pieces. But for all intents and purposes, what you're getting here in this Amarok is actually is actually a lot. This is a lot of false welcome built in here. So um I'm looking forward to a couple of days with this car. I have a cool destination for it and I'm hoping to head that way tomorrow um, and go banging around some dirt roads and up some mountains and um, just have some fun with the Amarok in the dirt. Uh, but right now heading back home to get the ASX and then take the ASX through for a swap for something else. <laughs> saying goodbye to the ASX. Um, this is actually a marvelous car. I really, 
really enjoy driving this. I was really amazed at how well it handled dirt roads. And like, you shouldn't really be, right? I mean, it's a Mitsubishi. They know how to build off-road cars. It's one of the things they do incredibly well. I mean, to take the Pajero, it's a phenomenal off-roader. Um, they're telling the story about us jumping the Pajero in the dunes. Don't tell Mitsubishi. Um, anyways, the ASX is a Mitsubishi. It's got Mitsubishi DNA. It's really well equipped on the inside. It's comfortable to drive on-road and off-road. CBT gearbox. You know, if I'm honest, and you guys probably hate me for this, but I'd have a CBT gearbox over a manual gearbox <laughs> because I'm lazy and I don't want to be rowing the car down the road. Um, it's not a great gearbox, but like it does the job. And um, as long as you're not in a hurry for this thing to accelerate and change gears, then um, it's an awesome, awesome little car. Or not a little car, actually. It's a great car. Um, panoramic roofers. I just love that thing. I really do. I think all cars should come standard with a panoramic roof like that. It should just be a thing. Anyways, heading out and about to go and swap for... I still don't know what. I could check the emails, but I still don't know what I'm swapping for. I have a suspicion, but you'll have to see. Keep watching. Click subscribe. <laughs>
Um, I need to do some grown-up stuff. In the age of COVID, you don't press for a ticket, you wave for a ticket. For my ticket, some grown-up stuff, and then we can go hooning the Suzuki Swift Sport all the way home. I have some time before my next meeting, so I might end up taking the long way home.